the way this works is an organization will come to us or we will go to them and say, you've got some great training. Let us have a look. Let's see what we can help you do with your employees. And oftentimes in the workplace, they're looking at this as an employee benefit. So how do we keep our employees happy? How do we help them attain their personal goals while they are here with us and further their skills to help our business grow? Um, in doing that, when we look at the trainings, we will match the content of the training course or the non-traditional course, if it's from a course provider, to faculty who are experts in that area. And they have to be teaching for five years. Um, they, in many cases, need to have been an active practitioner in the field as well. Um, that's more so when we look at things like engineering, manufacturing, uh, than if we're looking at history. And those faculty dive right in and they look at the content, the scope, the rigor, and the assessment of those training courses. One thing that we don't place a lot of emphasis on at ACE when we do these reviews is seat time. And if you're from an institution, you might be slightly cringing right now, and I apologize, but it's going to make some sense. Um, when you do training in the workplace, you are there to train the employees, to get them out on the floor, to grow the business, to make the money. They can't have them sitting in a chair to learn. So a lot of times the learning that's happening is happening on the job um, while they are being trained in their new position or during their work day because they can't afford to lose that productivity. So what we're looking at really is what is the employee learning? What is the intended outcome of the time they're spending in this training? And how does that align with a traditional college level course? 